Hi, Jeff. <clears throat> Jeff is asking, I read in the Symbol of Life book that some of the archangels like to take the human form and materialize themselves sometimes. I'm just wondering if you have thoughts on what they would be doing in a material body and if there would be a way we could recognize them as archangels. Yeah. Uh, what they're doing in the body is they're trying to help us wake up. I mean, they have different jobs, but if one appears to you for no physical reason, it's they're trying to help you wake up, basically. That's exactly what they're doing. Um, Archangel Michael is the archangel of fire. So sometimes he likes to materialize in a human form. He, he likes to. Archangel Raphael, much, very much likes to. He, he loves to come forward when we seek them out. He's the most um, approachable, I think I can say, of, of the archangels. He's, he's so willing. He's ready to come when you're ready to try. Um, same thing about gabriels, you know, they, they're about the liquid. So we have earth, I mean, fire, energy, air, prana, and liquids. What about the earth element? What archangels in charge of the earth element? Well, there, there aren't any archangels in charge of the earth element. The earth element is in charge, uh, is under the control of Shamael, who provides it to the other archangels. But Shamael, uh, when he materializes, now this is an interesting thing. He can be extremely beautiful or extremely ugly. But under no conditions are we at this point in time to try to attune to him, to try to think about him, to try to connect with him. Why? Well, he's a keeper of the duality, the law of cause and effect. So he's hostile to man because man's been hostile to his kingdom. His kingdom is the environment and we have been destroying it. So he's hostile to man right now. If, when you become self-realized, no danger in connecting with him at all. He'll be a loving brother to you. But as long as we have those kind of things in us that destroy his environment, he feels we're his enemy. So he, he's opposed to us. He has one hand connected to the archangels, which he's supplying the material stuff to. But he has the other hand connected to some other things that we don't want to be connected to. So it's just best for now not to try to connect to him. What they're doing, like I said, they're trying to wake up. But they also come into hospitals a lot. I have actually seen two in a hospital. But I have a story here from a doctor who was making his rounds late at night, one hospital, and he comes to this room with this patient that's just about to die, and he notices there's a light in there, a big light. He goes in, and he sees an angel standing over the person who's passing right then, and he just says to the to the guy, uh, to the doctor, that just tells him the truth. Life incarnations, the incarnations in all, all of our incarnations throughout all of our lifetimes are just um, gradual steps of self-improvement toward perfection. That's an interesting thing for him to say. Then he said, most severely disabled children are told this and they know this and it helps them carry their cross of their, their disability through life much better. And you'll notice some of these severely disabled children, they have the best attitude online. So they have different jobs and they show up for different things. But a lot of times it's either to protect us, wake us up, or in this case, help us with the crossing. 